Welcome back to Let's Play Zangan Ronpa. A lot has happened within the last two episodes. We've lost two characters. One to someone else in this room. A murderer who's among us and who's trying to escape. Or at least the or at the very least killed her for some reason or another. And also Junko. To Mano Okuma for disobeying the rule against the headmaster. I gently brought my hand to Inoshima's dead body, like they do on TV and in movies. I checked her pulse in her neck and wrist. There was no other way to say it. She was completely and utterly dead. <laughs> hmm? ah! And looks like Hagakure is finally coming to terms with reality. Everyone's eyes pointed at me all at once. <laughs> the look in their eyes changed dramatically. Their gazes were filled with doubt and fear. In other words, they suspect me? Huh? 
she's not saying anything. She must still be pretty shocked. Kirigiri is to lead the part of the gymnasium, leaving only those words behind. Jana. Continuing after Kirigiri, Togami also disappeared from our sight. Oh. Exited the room. Uh, uh, no, sir. fell on deaf ears as everyone left the gymnasium one by one. Their suspicious gaze is still pointed in my direction. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? Why did things turn out like this? There's no way I could kill her. I've gotta do something. At this rate, everyone. It's going to end up like that. I won't let things go Monokuma's way. I'll do everything in my power to find the culprit. 
culprit who killed my Zona. And so begins our investigation. Now, I'm going to make sure that the thumbnails to these videos don't contain any spoilers. So while this thumbnail might have been Sayaka who passed away this chapter, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to feature a character that passes away as the chapter's thumbnail. I'm just going to take a picture that I feel best represents the chapter overall. Now let's continue with the investigation. Basically, we investigate as much as we can, and these clues will be added to our evidence bullets, which we have in the menu, but was grayed out until now. This uh, object is one of them. The victim was Sayaka Mizona. The time of death, approximately 1.30 a.m. So not too long after we went to bed. The corpse was discovered in Naegi's bedroom, in the dormitory area. The victim died in the shower in Nike's bedroom. Cause of death, a stab wound to the abdomen. That's a bit of an odd place to die. Additionally, signs of blunt force trauma are visible on the right wrist, which is broken. New ammo. Now there's not actually really anything for us to investigate here that will give us any clues, but let's talk to Hunter Kurde and Chikido. Uh, I know what they have to say. Doesn't look like Kagakuri is up to investigate anything. And that's a shame we don't have any information out of him. I'm actually here though, what do you know? Not gonna get anything out of the gymnasium. It's best for us to head to the crime scene. Radio Makoto. I'm just gonna say this now, I absolutely love this game's soundtrack. This is probably one of my favorite songs in the entire game, because it just, it fits the atmosphere so well. The determination and the mystery, all in one. Radio, it's best to see what we've got here. First and foremost, so many objects are there for us to investigate quite a lot. Alright. It's the stand that held the practice sword. I believe these are our keys on the ground. A key has fallen onto the floor. It's attached to the keychain with my name on it. This is... I gave my Zona when we exchanged rooms. In other words, my Zona had to have that. Had to have had this key in the room the entire time. That is a very important question. How would they have entered? Did my Zona forget to lock the door? Yeah, I doubt that.
can't imagine she would forget to lock the door or open it herself after saying that. Well, that doesn't make much sense either. After we traded the rooms, my Zona remains here in this room. Also, nice how I literally said what the character was about to say. There's no way she left, as scared as she was, which leaves no opportunity to steal the key. Then, how did the culprit... This is gonna be a part of our ammo later. Now, something strange happened with the lint. Hmm? All of a sudden, the lint cleaner is running low on tape. Could my Zona have cleaned up? Not being able to stay in the side of my dirty room? I don't know about that. This is the Gilded Practice Sword I brought back with me for self-defense. It appears to have been used during the incident. But what's more, the blade has been drawn from the scabbard. This is the first time I've seen the sword itself as a figure. It's also been coated in gold leaf. On top of that, the gilding on both the blade and the hilt has come off in several locations. In particular, it looks like a lot of the hilt's gilding has come off. It just takes a light touch with the gold leaf on this practice sword to come off. Let's look at the marks on the ground and on the walls. There are marks of some sort all over the walls and in my bed. Those are some nasty marks. No doubt about it, the struggle clearly took place in this room. I don't think there was any way you could have noticed. What? Exactly, Sakura. Explain it to him. Examine the uh, scabbard bit because we've got the actual blade as part of evidence, so we might be able to get the scabbard as part of the next. What's more, this is just the scabbard. The sword's been removed. There are marks on the scabbard, like it's been slashed with the blade or something. But why? Why would there be slash marks on the scabbard? Even if the practice sword was used during the struggle, damage to the scabbard is unusual. If you were to attack someone with the practice sword, you'd normally draw it from the scabbard. The scabbard's heavy, and we're just getting in the way, and there's the risk of it coming off in a fight. So why are there slash marks on the scabbard? Indeed, this is just becoming stranger and stranger by the second. There's a tool sitting in the drawer. As usual, it's still sealed, no signs of having been used. Let's just talk to the people in the room. So yeah. That's true, we should probably investigate that later.
Because... She's one of my favorite characters. Money, you don't know. Mira, but I got it, sure. You walk on like it all. So, say you. So, so, so. She was crouched down, carefully examining every inch of my bedroom floor. I don't really get it, but it looks like she's concentrating pretty hard. Without warning, she stood up. Then... She nodded, then said, looking around my room. What do you see? No. Huh. I wonder what she thinks is slightly peculiar about the world. Well, we'll have to find out next time on Let's Play Don Gun Ronpa.